Hi everybody, it's Janet with Fruit of the Vine Art Studio here. Thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful Saturday before Mother's Day. Tomorrow is the big day, so we're going to make one more quick craft for Mother's Day. Now, if you've been with me for the last couple of crafts, you've seen that we've created this lovely painting here, which really isn't a painting at all. It does have some paint on it. Yes, I did paint this background and the table underneath, but the pot itself is a napkin, and the flowers were actually a piece of tissue paper. Just like this. It's just a piece of tissue paper that I've got. But that was how we made this one. We're not going to use that tissue paper, and we're not going to make this. If you were with me this morning in our kids' club, this is what we made for Mother's Day. Now, this is actually just a painting on canvas. But I'm just showing you how many ways we can take this same concept here of a pot of flowers and do different things with it. We also made this. Isn't that cute? That's just paper and some coffee, uh, coffee stirrer sticks painted green, craft paper, more craft paper, and it's just taped together. How cute is that? Very, very simple ways to make very easy Mother's Day gifts. Today, I'm going to show you another way to make a very, very simple Mother's Day gift that doesn't require painting, although I may use just a little bit to go around the edges like I did with the other. But this time, I'm going to be using another napkin. Now, this napkin is a gift from my friend Carol. Carol Reynolds sent this to me. Thank you so much, Carol. And I'm going to use this today to do the same concept. I'm going to cut a pot out of this and use that to Mod Podge onto this canvas. But we're going to take it another step further today. I've also got some just plain green tissue paper and another kind of a yellowish green tissue paper, a lighter color green. But I've also got coffee filters. And now my coffee filters, I did this early this morning. As you can see, they're a little bit purple. <laughs> Actually, they're quite a bit purple. And this was very easily done. It's so easy to achieve this with coffee filters. All I did was I took a little bit of my purple paint. I just took a tiny squirt of it, put it in this bowl, and then I added water to it and made just a very, very thin consistency. And then I took the coffee filters, they were in a stack, a glob of them, you know, the regular stack, and I just dipped it down in there and then pulled it back up before it got all the way into the middle. And then I laid them off to the side to dry. And like I said, that was about seven o'clock this morning, so they've had plenty of time, it's noon now. They've had plenty of time to dry. I did have to separate them. I'm gonna put that down there so it doesn't get spilled. I don't need that anymore. But coffee filters are very, very easy to color. Very simple. Another thing you can do, like when you're done painting, if your paint water hasn't all blended into something horrible looking, you can even take coffee filters, dip it in your old paint water, and make it whatever color that might be. Squeeze the water out of it, lay it over something, let it dry, and then you have beautiful coffee filters that you can use to make gorgeous flowers with. Anyway, let's get started on today's craft. It's going to be really another very simple craft. I'm going to tilt you down a little bit, get you sort of zoomed in so that you see what we're doing, because a lot of times it's hard to see. Ooh, that might be a little too much. Hmm. Maybe if I scoot it over. Just like that, maybe. Maybe take it back out just, just a little bit here. There, that's much better. Now, all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with my scissors. Of course, you do need scissors. I forgot to mention that in my little thing. You do need a pair of scissors. I'm gonna start with my scissors and I'm just going to cut out the figure of the pot. And don't worry about it, you know, I mean, just a very simple cut. I'm going to start right here and just bring this up. Bring it around. Of 
part of this back over this way and just bring it up around the top, making a top from my pot with a small curve, just like that. So that's what I've cut out of here. Very simple shape, almost looks like a pitcher that you could pour. We open it up and we now have the shape of a flower pot. Very simple to do. Going to take this and put it off to the side. Now we're going to flip this over and we're going to take the, the uh, backing off of this napkin. As you can see, I'm one of those girls that doesn't have those kind of nails. I don't even know if I could craft with those kind of nails. They would look so pretty, but I don't know. It's just not me. I can't do it. I have trouble with any kind of nail. It gets in the way of what I'm trying to do. So, I don't know. Maybe it'd be something if I had long nails for a while that I might get used to and be able to. But, you know, at this stage in my life, I don't think I'm even worried about that. I'll just be me with whatever nails God lets me grow, huh? How about that? That's good enough. <laughs> All right. So, now I've got the backing off and we've got this pretty little pot that we can put right on here. So I'm going to get some Mod Podge. Let me scoot it down a little bit. It might be a little big for what I'm wanting to do. That's all right, though. We're going to go with that. I'm going to get my Mod Podge. And maybe open it. There we go. Yes, sir, I'm going to open it. See, that's why I don't have fingernails, you guys. That's exactly why I do not have fingernails. I yanked that whole lid off. Just yanked it right off of there. It's got this big glob of stuff around the top. That's why it was stuck. I just need to pull this off of here. There we go. That'll make it much easier to get into next time. Okay. Now I'm going to take my chip brush, and I'm just going to paint this background back here underneath where the pot is. And I want to make sure that I'm not just getting it everywhere. So I'm just going to fold this in half just so that I can kind of get an idea of how big of an area that I'm going to need to put the Mod Podge on and where I want this to sit. So right here is where my Mod Podge is going to be. can see where I've got to still get it in spots. Right there, I don't have enough of it over on this side. So I got to make it wider. Smooth that down with my fingers. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We're not looking for perfection. It just, we're just going to rub the air bubbles out with our hand. If we had been worried about that, we would have went ahead and painted the whole thing with the Mod Podge, let it dry, and then we could have got our iron out and ironed it on there. But that wasn't what I was wanting to do today. I'm not too worried about this being wrinkle-free. Just put it that way. That's not a main concern for today, being wrinkle-free. Hey, <laughs> at my age, I better not be concerned with being wrinkle-free because that ain't going to happen. <laughs> okay, and we're just going to take our fingers and smooth down this pretty, pretty napkin that Carol sent us. I just love the little polka dots. It makes me feel happy. Just happy feeling. Just kind of push it down all the way around. I think I might need a little bit more right here. Just take my finger and push that down. There we go. Now you can still see some air bubbles right in here. I'm just taking my finger and just pressing them down. Just pressing down as much as I can. Not going to worry about the wrinkles too much. They're all right. I just don't want a bunch of air bubbles. So I'm just working that down with my finger. Put that right 
right around the edge of that. And we'll just put us a little bit of Mod Podge right on the top of it. Make sure it's down all over on the edges here. Just working it on there. Take your time. It's not a race. You go too fast and you press too hard and you end up tearing your napkin. Simple to do. I've done it many times before. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Just take your time and work it down. Get your Mod Podge on there. Mod Podge is such a great project. I mean, such a great project. Uh, Use some, you can use them in so many different projects. It's such a wonderful product. It's really just um, something you can use in so many different ways. Okay, I've just about got this guy covered right in here. Just get a little bit more. I'm trying to just spread it out. I don't want it to be, to take forever to dry. Let's put it that way. We don't want to take forever to dry. We'd like to finish this in a timely manner, so to speak, I'd say. Here, let's turn it that way just a little bit. That's better. Okay, so now what we're going to do while this is drying is we're going to take our brush and just kind of put the lid. Let's wipe off the top of this Mod Podge. While we're thinking about it, wipe that off. And put the lid on it for a second. And then while that's drying, I'm going to put this brush in the water, and I'm going to plug in my hot glue gun. And I forgot to mention that, I believe, too. Scissors and a hot glue gun you're going to need for this also. And we're just going to give this a moment to get warmed up. And while it's getting warmed up, we're going to let this dry right here. And we're going to take this green tissue paper that we've got while this is heating. And the yellow tissue paper. And we're going to put them together. Let's move you down. Put the yellow and the green together. Fold it over. over one more time. Hold that down. Now we're just going to take this, fold it in half. Fold this in half one more time. Trying to keep these edges together here. And then in just this spot where I've got this folded here, I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut out a big leaf, big leaf shape. And we can get rid of that and we can put this away for something else. Yeah, we could even keep those out. Who knows? We might we might use those in this. I'm gonna take this, and at the bottom where it's still held together, you can see where it's folded in half right there. Cut it in half, so that now you've got all these different little leaf shapes here. There'll be a green, a light green and a dark green, a light green and a dark green together. Let's 
Just kind of leave them together like that. Just put that off to the side for a moment. And I just wanted you to see how they look, just, just the greens. Okay, so now our hot glue gun should be pretty hot. We're going to get this back over here, and we're going to take one of the coffee filters, pinch it right here in the middle, twist it up, and we're going to put a glob of hot glue right here. Take this, point it down. Okay, be careful now. It's hot glue. Get another coffee filter. Fold it over. Grab it in the middle and pinch it. Give it a twist. A lot of hot glue. Stick it down. Take another. Get it. Pinch it. Twist it. Poof it out a little bit. Hot glue. Place it down. Now we'll see how many, how many coffee filters do you think it's going to take to make a big bouquet here? Anybody got a guess? I hope I have enough. I've got quite a few of them here. I hope it's enough to do this whole thing. Hey, Carol. Thanks for joining me. I'm using your napkin. That pretty pink polka dotty napkin that you sent me. I thought we'd use that to make another Mother's Day gift. Okay, we're going to scoot this guy a little bit out of the way here so that we can get back over here to the inside of it. Put this guy right down in there. See how pretty that looks? Let's put this one right here. And we're going to make this full and big and pretty. And then we're going to take those little green leaves that we cut out and stick them in between. Making a beautiful, beautiful flower pot filled with gorgeous purple flowers. And all it is... Is quick and easy coffee filters and a napkin, a little Mod Podge, some hot glue, and we're getting flowers all over. Hey, Steve, thanks for joining us. I appreciate that. Just another glob. Stick this one in. Okay, that looks like that pretty well fills this one up from the bottom. Ugh, get all these stringers out of here. You gotta be careful with that hot glue, guys. It'll get you every time. Okay, now we're gonna work ourselves around in a circle. Just gluing these in. How many have we used? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, we're on 11. This is a dozen. Take it and twist it. Put you a glob of glue. Put it down on there. Come on, smoosh it up though. You don't want it to look too folded. You want it to be mashed a little bit. And now we're just gonna make this going all the way around, around the top of it here, and then we're gonna fill in the middle. Oops. 
We'll use you. Hold on. Wait your turn there, buddy. Everybody wants to be a part of the flower pot. Watch out, you get burned. It's going to go over top of the canvas. How cool is that? It'll be, whoop, let me get it back over here. I'm getting it out of the frame. I'm getting so busy putting globs of hot glue in and trying to avoid getting burnt. <laughs> I'm not wanting to get burned. Of course, who does, huh? Nobody. A little glob there. Put that little pinched guy down in there. Some of you hardly can see the purple until you get it put together and twisted, and then it shows up. Let's get one in the middle. Press him down in there. Yeah, I think we're up to 15 now. And you could probably do it with less. I want mine to be really full looking. There's 16. Take it and twist it. Gotta watch out for all these stringy thingies. Get out of here. There we go. Another little twist. Put you right in here. Let me get me another glue stick out while I'm thinking about it. stop thinking about it and start thinking about where am I going to place the next flower and then next thing I know I'm not thinking about how many I've used. It's going to be a handful, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's going to be a bunch. It's going to be a bunch. <laughs> I don't even know how many I colored to tell you the truth. I just took you know, if you, if you buy the pack and the pack's got like four different divided up areas, I took one fourth of that, one fourth of a pack of coffee filters. And that's what I've colored here because I thought, who knows? I really have no idea how many it's going to take to fill this in. And, you know, I've, I've never seen anybody do this exactly this way. So I don't know. I'm just guessing. We're just going. I just colored a bunch of them and that's what we're doing. Okay, let's get a little bit more down in here. Now, if you had all different colors, think how pretty that would be, too. With lots and lots of different colors. That could make a very pretty pot. Kind of reminds me of, like, hydrangeas or something. Getting awful fluffy and full. Look at that. So I would say, depending on how fluffy, how full, how thick you want your flowers to be in here, you could do anywhere from 24 to 36 of them easy. Here, let me put a stick in there so it'll Push a little. Now I hate to get that on me. Ooh, hot glue. Get 
very, very simple, simple way to make some flowers in a pot. Okay, I'd say maybe two more. Maybe three, I don't know. We'll see. Scooting them apart. I can still see quite a bit of an area. It fills in quite easily. Oh, let's see. Come loose. Twist this one. I'm just kind of squirting it down in the hole now. Building it up. I'm going to put one more. I don't want to put too much more, though, because it's getting on the coffee filter. The hot glue is getting on it. It's getting tight. So if anybody counted, if anybody counted, let me know how many coffee filters it took for me to do this, because I lost count. I certainly did. Now, to give our plant, I mean, this is pretty. This is very pretty and oh, it's very full. Very full and very pretty. But it's still, it's just, it needs a little more to it. So let's take these green, these green leaves that we've got here. Twist the end of that. And we're just going to go in some spots. Just look for you a spot. Put you a glob. Stick that green down in there. Get a couple more. Give them a twist. Hey, Rick. Thanks for joining me. How did I color? How did I color? How did I color the coffee filters? Is that what you're asking, Carol? That was really simple. Um, here, let me squirt this down in there. What I did, I'll show you, was I took the paint, I took some paint, I put one drop of paint in this bowl and added water to it. Then I took that, like I said, a fourth of the, of the coffee filters and I just dipped it down in there and pulled it back out when it only got about so far up on it, pulled it back out, separated these and put them off and let them dry. So that's all it is. It's just a little bit of paint and water to thin it down very thin. That's how you color the coffee filters. Okay, now let's get a couple more of the greeneries. We'll put a couple at the bottom. You love the pictures, Rick? Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I appreciate you being here and watching, commenting for me. Let's put a little bit of greenery down here. Underneath. Here, let's grab another one. Give it a twist. Put the dark green on the top this time. Stick it right in there with it. So we've got some greenery there. Let's do the same thing on this side. Give this a twist. Pull this up, squirt a little hot glue in there, sit that there, take this one, twist it. And is there enough hot glue still? Yeah. Stick that on top of it. Oh, I got that stinking hot glue on that green there. So let's just kind of Oops. Get a little more. Give the 
it's a twist. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for asking. Thanks for asking, Carol. I want to make sure everybody knows how to make it. It's so simple. So simple to do. Let's pull this up. Put a glob of glue in here. Put one of these in there. Coming out over the edge. We'll make another one coming out of the top up here. Pull this back. Put a squirt in there. Stick this down in there. We'll have leaves coming out all around this flower pot. Maybe put a couple more on the inside of it. Let's put one right over it here. Put another one in here. Come here, you. Since I bent that one up so badly, I got hot glue on him. And one more. And we'll put him coming right off of this edge over here. Loof up your flowers. You could even take some of this and make like little sprigs of green coming up out of here. Just little pieces of greenery coming out. I'm not going to do that though. I'm going to leave it like that. I kind of like how this looks. I'm going to unplug my hot glue gun. And then we're going to, how dry is this? Dry enough to maybe do a little bit of color underneath to just give it a table to set up on just for the depth of it. Heck. Could almost use that at the bottom of it. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, though. I'm not going to do that. We'll just get us a little bit of... Let's scoot that out of the way. Grab a small amount of teal here. Get that on my chip brush. Make sure all that Mod Podge is out of there. And I'm going to turn it around this way. And I'm just going to take my Mod, I mean my turquoise, and I'm just going to bring it right around here at the bottom. not going to worry too much about it getting on the napkin because I'm going to use my pens and just make it go around and outline the flower pot what we can. And if it gets a little bit on the bottom of your flower pot down here, don't worry about it. It can be just a reflection on your shiny flower pot. Fill it in as much as you can up to the thing, up to the edge. Okay, now we've got that there. Put it on the edges. And we're going to add a little bit of, hmm, let me get that off of my finger, dark blue to that. I'm just going to get some dark blue on here. Just drag it along underneath the pot. A little bit up on this side. Maybe 
you bring a little over the edge here. Just to give it a little bit of a variation. Just so you see that little bit of variation there. And then we're going to add some white. Where is my white? To the teal. Or we could even add it to the dark blue. Make that a little bit lighter. And I'm just going to lift this up here and I'm just going to pounce it back in the background. And then we're getting some uh, hot glue string, but that's okay. I'm going to lift this up right here, get a little more of that color. And just sort of pounce it in the background up to the edge of the pot just like that look at your corner see if you need to add a little bit of color into the corner which I do get just a drop of water to make that color go just a little bit further because I don't want to mix up any more of it. There's enough. Just kind of pounce it around the edges. You don't want it to be too wet though because you are using tissue paper so I'm just going to sop up what I got wet there. to this side. Put a little color around the edge. And use my paper towel and get the extra wet part up. Poof this back up. Get my black pen. Put this in the water. Close the lid on my paint. Where's my white pen? I'm gonna use my white pen too. Now using my black pen, I'm gonna outline the shape of the pot. And I'm not gonna do it real straight edge and real worried about it being perfect at all. I want there to be enough black to come down. Come on now. I'm just... scratching it on there, sort of. Draw my line for the table right here. Get that paint off the end of that. This is a new pen, so they're kind of finicky when they're new. Get it moving. There we go. And then we're going to draw that 
a little bit better there. I'm gonna make a dark area right in here. Just darken this up a little bit. Of course, we got the shade going that way, so we're going to need to make a little darker over here, too. Going up the side of the pot. Okay. I'm going to put the lid on the back side. Get your white pen. Make sure he's working. Draw some lines there. Couple of lines on this side, and maybe just one line on that side. And now we've got our pretty flower pot all filled up. I think it needs to be a little bit darker down in there. Let me get just a little bit more. I, I do, I think it needs to be a little bit darker underneath the flower pot. So I'm just gonna use a drop more of the dark blue. Just a little bit. Take this. Wipe it off. Shade it a little more. I think I'm going to let that stop just like that. Leave it just like this. And here we've got our flower pot for Mother's Day. Look at those flowers. And that, that's something. <laughs> it is. It's, it's very pretty. It's very full. And it's very easy to make. I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day. Thank you, Carol. I appreciate that. Thanks, Rick. I appreciate you being here with us, too. Um, I will see you guys again. Here, let me see. I'm trying to hold it in a place where you can actually see it real well. About like that. Didn't that turn out pretty? I love it. I think it turned out great. Thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate you being here. Bye.